Hello, my name is Thayan and I like to experiment with all kinds of AI technologies. But mostly I like to explore the capabilities of Midjourney. And we finally got a new update to Midjourney. Well it is more simply a feature release and not much else. We can now do bigger upscales again. So previously the upscale buttons did not really upscale anything, but they just separated your image from the grid. All of the images were generated in that size so it wasn't changed in the process at all. But now we have a couple of new options again if you really want to make your image bigger and don't want to use external upscalers. I don't normally use any upscalers in my workflow so my knowledge of what's out there might be outdated, but I do remember there being several options, both paid and free. Also I remember that around version 3 of Midjourney when I did have to always upscale images, nothing really worked as well as I would have wanted to. So let's take a quick look at what the new upscaler does in a few different scenarios. First let's look at a square image which normally you will get as 1024 by 1024 pixels. I have selected this watercolor painting of an autumn scene. The first upscale takes it to 2048 by 2048 pixels which is two times bigger as advertised. And with the watercolor painting it looks pretty much okay. It wasn't super sharp to begin with so obviously the details are just big blobs. And the second upscale we get it to 4096 by 4096 pixels which is four times bigger. The file size grows as well quite a lot, this one is about 27 megabytes compared to the usual 2 megabytes. But the watercolor painting looks pretty much what it's supposed to, no surprises there. So my verdict is that at least with watercolor paintings the upscaler works well. Next up we will take a look at my usual favorite aspect ratio of 916 which normally shows up as 816 by 1456 pixels. I selected this image with kind of an illustrative style that could be something akin to computer generated graphics or something out of a video game. While I love the look of this kind of style, I do remember that stuff similar to this was something that I really disliked after upscaling. The 2x image is now the size 1632 by 2912 pixels. And I do feel like the same problem is still there that was there with the original upscaler. I feel like some of the details are kind of lost with this kind of style. This particular image is not as bad as a few other images were, but I guess it just tells that the upscaler is good for some images and not so good for other images really depends case by case and you will see it after you have upscaled. The 4x upscale ends up as 3264 by 5824 pixels. But the castle has lost a lot of detail with this upscale. To me it looks way better when it's smaller. So comparing them and switching between the images really fast I noticed that while they all look basically the same when zoomed out to the same size, I believe the 2x size is a tiny bit more darker in color than the original and the 4x. But luckily Midjourney has gotten really good at very photorealistic images, so for the 16 to 9 aspect ratio let's look at one example of that. Let's see what it does with this one. So this time our image is 1416 by 816 pixels. Nothing really that special, a pretty redhead woman and there's some ornate branches in the background. The 2x bigger image lands at 2912 by 1632 pixels. Right away I noticed that the detail is really well there. The eyes look a little bit weird because there seems to be a different reflection in both of the eyes, but otherwise looks quite good. So based on this I think the upscaler works really well with this photorealistic style. I don't feel there's any detail lost here. In comparison to previous upscalers, I felt that even if the image looked pretty much like a photograph, the upscaler made it look like a painting which is why I really disliked the earlier upscalers. But this one looks very promising, even though it depends on the image really. 
and the 4x upscaler ends up as a 5824 by 3264 pixels image. And the level of detail is astonishing. All the individual strands of hair seem to be in place. If we look at the images all side by side, there seem to be subtle differences, they're not all exactly the same. The color tones look slightly different, but you only notice it when you indeed compare the different things side by side. The 4X upscaler has kind of slightly changed the reflection in the eye. The 2X upscaler looks slightly sharper to me based on this image. But overall a really good job in my opinion. So the final image I wanted to take a look at is a really default looking thing that I got with prompting random gibberish. And so this is a really typical looking image for version 5.2 if you don't attempt to alter the look of the image at all. And I guess the 2x upscaler does a decent job. It's kind of reminiscent of the luminescent house style where it's something akin to computer graphics and painting. There aren't many really ornate details that would become ugly after upscaling this image, but it's not originally a super sharp and detailed image, so I guess it's okay. The 4X upscaler does seem to lose some detail, but again nothing so much that it would straight up bother me. And side by side look shows again the same thing that 2X is kind of more sharper and 4X is more softer. Also there is again a really small difference in the contrast and color tones. Overall verdict is that I do like the new upscalers. I don't know how much and in what use cases I will be using them, but I may do that sometimes. One weird thing I noticed was that I was kind of unable to save the 4x upscaler image with Discord as a ping file, it always appeared as the WebP file. But there is a workaround if you go to the website and look at your latest upscales, you can save it from there and it will be the ping format. And a couple of times in a row I had my 4x upscales kind of fail, because I got these as the end result. It seemed that there was 25% of the image just missing and replaced with a black box. I did manage to upscale this image after my third attempt, but it was a really weird anomaly which was mentioned actually in the patch notes for the update. Another thing that was mentioned in the patch notes was what to do when you want to upscale older images. You will need to retrieve the job ID of the upscaled image you want to upscale even more. You can do that by either reacting to the image on Discord with the envelope emoji. Or you can go find the image on Midjourney's website, select copy and job ID. Then enter to discord slash show and paste in the job ID. But this only works with version 5 and not with any other earlier version of Midjourney. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about the new upscaler and whether you will have a use for it going forward. Also if you like this kind of content, please consider pushing the like button for me or even subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that already. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.